Android 4.3 keeps sounding a lot louder than 5.0 for Google I.O. HTC is already seeing sales improvements with their HTC One, and LG seems to be in charge of the future Nexus smartphone this year. I'm Jaime Rivera, and all of you have my permission to take a nap after watching this video. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about Windows Phone. Those of you curious for the next version of GDR2, it's already being rumored in carriers to be ready for testing in mid-May. And obviously it'll take carriers a little time, a couple of weeks to get that pushed out into and users. But then those of you curious about hardware coming up, well, we've got some leaked banners of the Nokia Lumia 928 already, and it's boasting a great low light performance camera. So really curious to see what comes out of this phone eventually with that Xenon flash and everything. But again, it could either be the event from Verizon in May or also the London event from Nokia in May. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will keep you posted on what happens. Now let's move over to HTC. We initially discovered that there was a red HTC One being shown at the website before it was pulled by, you know, the company. And apparently UK listings already show that there is a red HTC One coming soon. We just don't know when. But on a sort of a positive note, HTC is up 26% in sales in comparison to March thanks to the HTC One. This is pretty much the only phone they've announced. But the problem is they're still 37% down compared to last year. But remember, we had three phones last year and this time we only have one so this is kind of logical the m4 could not come soon enough and now let's talk about blackberry for all five of you that were intrigued about that blackberry r10 and yes that phone was that ugly we've got some recent photos comparing it to the blackberry q10 and judging by everything we see here first of all we do get a black variant and second of all the blackberry q10 is a much prettier phone. So uh, don't even wait for this R10. I mean, the Q10, if you really need a cure to keyboard, that's the way to go. The other one is ugly. And now let's talk about LG. We've got some leaked photographs of a very beautiful looking phone that's already being dubbed the LG Optimus G2. We've got some rumors of specs and just about everything coming up. And yeah, I mean, the phone looks a lot like the Optimus G Pro and yeah, even the Galaxy Note 2. But aside from that, we've also got some leaked reports that, well, LG will be in charge of the following Nexus program, meaning whether it be called the Nexus 5 or Nexus 4, regardless, what's coming up in the future, most likely in the fall, will be coming from LG. So I keep Keep my eye on this Optimus G2 as most probably the next version of the Nexus phone will look a lot like this phone either in specs or in design. And finally for the, oh no, I don't know what to make of it news of the day. Well, we've got some more rumors that we aren't getting Android 5.0 key lime pie for Google I.O. in the next coming days. Apparently we're just getting another flavor of jelly bean being dubbed 4.3 and some minor upgrades that are not really groundbreaking. Apparently we don't know what could happen. I mean, I don't think they're going to be using Google I.O. for just a minor update to Android and still jelly bean is not even a year old still. So I'm going to cut some slack to Google, but that leads you to the question of the day. Would you be happy or would you be disappointed if you only got another version, version 4.3 of Jelly Bean coming up instead of Key Lime Pie? In our particular case, well, with the fact that Windows Phone hasn't really sold well and the fact that iOS 6 was a complete disaster, we do understand that Google will probably want to keep their new card under the sleeve for the future and not necessarily for this version of Google I.O., but sadly, I wouldn't want to wait another year for Android 5.0. I think that's too long, so leave us a comment down below. Would you like to wait or would you like to get Android 5.0 now? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.